What's up, internet? Thanks for stopping by. Today, I've got five tips to help you make your recovery from ostomy surgery as seamless as possible. If your experience was anything like mine, you probably spent a week or so in the hospital after your initial surgery. Uh, while you were there, you probably had nurses and all sorts of hospital technology to help you recover. Then one day the doctors come into your room and they say, time for you to head on out of here and start recovering at home. They might give you a pamphlet or two and they'll throw you into a wheelchair and dump you off at your car. Then you'll have someone drive you home and the rest is up to you. You've got to just figure it out now. I remember being really excited to be away from the hospital and all of the, <laughs> the beeps at night, but also being really, really scared and concerned about how I was gonna be able to manage these things at home. I've curated five tips that I think will help you relax and recover more smoothly at home. These tips aren't going to change your life, but I think they will put your mind at ease. I think now's a good time to point out that I'm not a doctor. I think these tips are really helpful, but they should not be considered medical advice. All right, on with the tips. Tip number one, seek community. Uh, if you're anything like me, you probably have a bunch of friends and family who mean well, and they're offering words of encouragement and telling you things will get better and to just hang in there, but I don't know. For me, I couldn't stand that. Those people had never been in my position. They'd never dealt with the pain that I was dealing with. They'd never dealt with having a bag of excrement attached to their body all the time. And I think that it was really easy for someone like that to, to say that. And then once they leave your home or hang up the phone, they go on living their lives that, you know, in my opinion, were just perfect. So I really suggest you reach out to other people who've been in your position. It's a lot easier to hear things like it's going to get better when it's coming from somebody it's gotten better for. The first place I'd start to find those people is the internet. Now, chances are you have already figured that out because you're watching this video. Uh, places like Reddit and Twitter and Instagram and Facebook are all great places to find lovely people that are inspiring and supportive and will make you feel like you aren't alone in this horrible situation. I do suggest though that once you're feeling a little bit better, find some people in your community that have gone through it. It's one thing to talk to people online and see their pictures that they've, you know, like, expertly curated to make things look a certain way. And it's quite another to see someone who's in your community thriving with, with the bag. And the best thing that I've ever done was drive myself out to a support group one night and I just sat there. I didn't talk much, I talked a little bit, but you know, not much. And it was just, profoundly impactful to see all of these people that are living amongst you, that are dealing with the same thing you are. It, it made me feel a sense of community. It made me feel like I wasn't alone. And ultimately, I think it helped me recover. I'll leave a link down below. You can go to ostomy.org. They've got a great little search feature that will help you find a support group in your area. Tip number two. Pay attention to what you put in your body. After ostomy surgery, your bowels are tender and swollen and pissed off. Be nice to them. Eat bland, low fiber foods for the first few weeks. You probably saw a dietitian in the hospital that gave you maybe more packets and pamphlets and a suggested diet. You should follow it. For me, since I lost a lot of weight, I had to stick to a low fiber, high calorie diet. It wasn't that bad. I got to eat a lot of 
peanut butter sandwiches, grilled cheese, uh, I ate a lot of cheese curds. But everybody's not gonna be in that situation. Some people need to lose weight so that they can more safely have the next surgery. Those people are gonna wanna watch the calories that they're eating. Either way, there's some rules that I think all new ostomates should follow. And I think the first one is eat small meals. Try to go for six small meals instead of three larger meals. During all those meals, eat slowly. Chew, chew, chew. A good rule of thumb is if you have the food in your mouth and you're not sure if you should chew a little bit more, you should absolutely chew more. Don't, you don't want the blockage. Finally, stay hydrated. It can be tricky for ostomates missing their colon to stay hydrated because the colon is where most of the water gets absorbed in your body. To combat that, eat a lot of salty foods and make sure you're sipping water all day long. You can even try drinking sports drinks, but my number one suggestion is find an oral rehydration solution that works for you. I drink Trip Drop. It's a little bit expensive, but it's an absolute lifesaver. I've never had to go back to the hospital to get IV fluids. Give it a try. Tip number three, make your home comfortable. At least for the time being, you're gonna be there a lot, so make it as comfortable as possible. That's a no brainer, right? If you can, splurge on products that are gonna make your life better. For me, I struggle to get in and out of bed, so I bought this bedside assistance bar that Kylie had to put in for me, and it, it was an absolute lifesaver. In the hospital, you had the bed that would, you know, you know, and uh, at home I don't have that, so the best thing I could come up with was this bar, and God, am I glad I bought that. The other thing I bought was a giant reading pillow. I couldn't sleep laying on my back all the way at first, so I had to sleep, you know, kind of sitting up. And this giant reading pillow was an absolute lifesaver. It allowed me to comfortably sleep at night and get as much sleep as I could. If your home isn't set up for ostomy recovery, make the appropriate and reasonable renovations to make your life easier. It doesn't have to be like that forever. Tip number four, walk. Walk, 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 and then go walk some more. There's a reason that the nurses have you up and walking right after ostomy surgery. It helps you heal faster. Walking has a whole bunch of benefits. It'll help with your digestion. It'll help keep your heart and lungs healthy. It'll even help you from getting clots in your legs after surgery. It's the number one thing that you can do to help yourself is walk around. Start off slow, your abdominal muscles have been severely compromised and you don't wanna push yourself too much. I think the day after ostomy surgery, I decided I was gonna go mail the rent. The mailbox is not super close. <laughs> Kylie suggested that we do that together, but I wasn't hearing any of that. I decided to just get up and go walk to the mailbox. And somewhere between home and the mailbox, I realized that <laughs> I had made a grave mistake. Take it slow. Start with just walking around your house, then walk down to the end of the driveway, then just down the block, and soon you're gonna be walking wherever you want, whenever you want, and it's gonna be awesome. Tip number five, tip number five, and probably the most important tip is be patient with yourself. You need to just accept that this healing process is gonna take some time. You just had a major surgery and your anatomy has been altered. You're literally pooping out of your stomach now. Before it was your butt. Your anatomy has been altered. It's gonna take time to get used to that for both you and your body. There's gonna be good days and there's gonna be bad days. There might even be good weeks and bad weeks. This recovery is not easy. You need to remember that. You're going through a lot. You're going through a lot and, and you need to just let yourself heal. Beyond your body healing, you also need to learn how to live with your new body. You've got to figure out the ostomy supplies you need. And I mean, and when I say ostomy supplies, there's there's so many options. I mean, it's not, you're not just talking about the bag. You know, that there's Coloplast, Hollister, Convitec, and then they've all got their variation of supplies and accessories and there's a lot. It's it's a lot to figure out and you're gonna wanna test everything out and figure out what works best for you. And it's gonna be a slow, long process of trial and error. 
Just like anything, it's gonna be hard at first, but the more you practice and the more reps you get in, you're gonna be, you're gonna start getting really good at living with your new body. You also might be struggling mentally to cope with the idea of this new way of living. I know that that was something that I really struggled with. I didn't want the ostomy bag, like really didn't want it. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you, there were days where I thought it'd be better to not be alive than to have this bag. I'm glad that I let those days come and go because I'm doing better. I'm, I'm doing really good actually. And I'm glad I have the bag now. My life is significantly better. I can and I should and I probably will make an entire video about the, the mental aspect of having the ostomy bag. But I just, I just wanna say this, it's amazing what the human body can adjust to. Give yourself time to grieve the loss of your old body. I just, I really believe that with time, you're gonna to grow to appreciate and love what the ostomy bag is doing for you. Um, don't give up. Be patient with yourself. All right, that's what I got. What do you think? Comment below if you think I missed something or you got something you wanna share. As always, please, please, please subscribe and uh, hit the thumbs up if you got some value from this video. See you guys in the next video.